Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sorry about the wind, uh, but it's really nice out. It's like 44 degrees out in January. It's almost February. Uh, but in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys five reasons why you could or should want to vlog with a GoPro. easy to bring places. Uh, you know, if you walk around with a, like my FX3 for example, um, people like look at you, you know, and it makes it a little uncomfortable to walk with. Just like the snow, <laughs> it's like pretty icy right now, man. Like, it's artificial snow and the sun's been out today. I see people behind me. Oh God. Okay, so the size of it is one thing. Uh, like that's my main thing is the size of it. It's small, you know? Like look at this lady at this airport here. Like she sees the, uh, she sees my Sony and she gets intimidated and starts looking at her phone, right? With this camera, this GoPro, nobody cares, you know? And they think it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say that's like my main reason why this thing is so easy to carry around is because of the size, you know? I don't have a mic on it. Everything you hear is just straight, you know, from the GoPro itself. I just hit record and that's it. Which brings me to my next point. Uh, reason number two is the ease of use on this thing. You just press record. I think the colors are pretty good. I just have it on standard. Uh, like I said before, I just just press record on this thing and it just does everything for me versus my FX3. I like to, you know, think about the shot some more and uh, with the exposure and all that stuff, um, you know, you're constantly switching. But on this, you just hit record. It goes and on post-production, I just put it into Adobe Premiere Pro and just cut it up, add stuff to it, you know. Uh, so that's reason number two, how easy this thing is to use. Just turn it on, press record. Reason number three is the, the image quality and like pretty much the overall capture quality. Like I said, uh, this is in 4K right now, 24 frames uh, per second. And uh, it's just the onboard mic, the mic that's on the camera here. Uh, no, no external mic. Uh, I mean, the audio is like obviously not like the greatest or whatever, but it is like really good for being how small it is and for how much GoPro has come along. Uh, like actually the, around this time ago, five years ago, I was recording here at Great Bear five years ago um, on a GoPro Pro Hero 3. And this is a Hero 10, obviously. And now uh, the audio has come a long ways. The image quality obviously has come a long ways um, and the sound too. So, you know, you just really, it's just so simple, just press record and I find that I bring this camera with me like everywhere because it's, you know, like this big. So yeah, that's reason number three, the capture quality, uh, the image and the sound, uh, both really good. All right, reason number four is, it's a GoPro, man. The build quality, reason number four is the build quality. What else can I say, really? It's, it's a GoPro. They're built very well. Uh, I'm not afraid to, like, fall with this thing, you know? Like, if I crash, I don't care. Like, these things are waterproof. And uh, we'll talk about the price in a second. But, you know, I'm not... I'm not worried, like, as I would be with, like, my FX3, you know? I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. I almost just fell there, actually. Uh, now I'm riding Switch. But definitely, uh, build quality is just phenomenal, you know? It can get wet. Right now we're in the snow, and I'm not worried about it getting wet or being in snow, you know? So, that's reason number four quality. Uh, 
All right, reason number five why you should uh, vlog on a GoPro. If you're, if you're looking at getting into vlogging at all, I think GoPros are definitely a viable camera now. Um, the entry point is very, very low. Uh, so reason being, reason number five is that it's pretty affordable. Like my FX3 or, you know, an A7 IV, really expensive cameras. And I know the build quality of them is like really good, but you're always just kind of afraid, you know, like uh, you don't want to drop them, but this is a GoPro. So, you know, that's what it's made for. And uh, yeah, like I said, the entry point is like really low. These, when I bought mine, it was like uh, $4.99. And then Best Buy was selling it for um, $44.99. And right now I just looked uh, and you can get the GoPro Hero 10 for $4.29. I mean, that's a really low price point for like the quality you get, you know, whether it's image or sound, it takes decent pictures. And yeah, that's like, you know, there's not much more to say about this camera. Uh, I could only think of like five really good things, you know, like there doesn't need to be like 10 reasons. Like um, all the reasons that I stated is good enough, man. Like if you want to get started, just pick up a GoPro and yeah, all the reasons like you go to a restaurant uh, and you know, people aren't going to look at you with like this giant you know, uh, DSLR or mirrorless with a giant mic on top of it, you know? And it, you don't have to be like snowboarding or doing extreme stuff because my life isn't like super extreme or anything. I mean, you guys mainly see me on the weekends. Like you guys only get to see like, you know, maybe like 5% of my life. Like the rest of it's just working. So, you know, if you're just like me and you want like a simple entry point, go with the GoPro. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys found this information informative. If you're trying to make a decision or not, on, you know, either vlogging or just a good camera to have around, uh, I say go with the GoPro. But it's getting a little dark now, so I'm gonna get back to some riding. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.